Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Odin de Guzman and our topic for today is Computing Overtime Payment for Business Mathematics. So, whenever we talk about overtime, this is additional compensation payable to employee for services or work rendered beyond the normal 8 hours of work. So, it is computed by multiplying the overtime rate with the numbers of hours in excess of the regular 8 hours of work. For the legal basis of our discussion, so all employees required to work beyond 8 hours in one work day is entitled to overtime pay. The basis of overtime pay is found in Article 87 of the Labor Code. So, I quote, So, work may be performed beyond 8 hours a day provided the employee is paid for the overtime work an additional compensation equivalent to his regular wage plus at least 25% thereof. Work performed beyond 8 hours on a holiday or rest day shall be paid an additional compensation equivalent to the rate for the first 8 hours on holiday or rest day plus at least 30% thereof. So this is taken from Article 87, so entitled Overtime Work. In our discussion, there are five conditions that we will focus on the computation of overtime payment. So we have the ordinary day, we have the rest day or special day, rest day falling on a special day, number four is regular holiday, and number five is rest day falling on regular holiday. So let's talk about first the ordinary day. So ordinary day is the most common abuse over time. So this overtime rate of an ordinary day is equal to the regular hourly rate multiplied by 125%. And take note that OT or overtime rate is equal to regular hourly rate times 125%. So let's talk about this first problem. So money works 8 hours a day. His daily wage is 800 pesos. If he worked 10 hours last Monday, how much was his wage that day? So if we will analyze, he worked for 10 hours. So the first 8 hours are actually the work or regular working hours, while the 2 hours is considered as the overtime. So take note that the daily rate is equal to 800 pesos. If we want to determine the hourly rate, so that is daily rate divided by 8 because according to the law, so 1 work day is equal to 8 hours. So that is hourly rate is equal to 100 pesos per hour. On the other hand, okay, so regular working hours is equal to 800 pesos. So overtime is equal to hourly rate times 125 pesos or 125%. So therefore, the overtime rate is equal to 100 pesos times 125%. This is equal to 125 pesos. Next, if we want to find out the overtime payment, so that is OT in number of hours times OT rate or overtime rate. So in this example, we have 2 hours as overtime times 125. So this is equal to 250. So if we want to find out okay, the total payment for regular working hours, that is equal to 800 pesos. While the overtime payment is equal to 250. So if we will add this together, so the total is 1050. So therefore, we can say that the total wage that day was 1050 pesos. So let's move on to the second type of overtime payment. So we have what we call rest day or special day. So in this condition, if we say rest day, so to give you a concrete example, say for instance, if there is a government employee that works regularly from Monday to Friday. So Monday to Friday is considered as the working days. However, Saturday and Sundays are what we call rest days. Okay, and a special day, okay, this is considered as the local holiday. This is actually, okay, a special day or holiday on a specific, okay, location 
or municipalities or city. Okay, so if employee works on his rest day or a special day, the rate will be regular hourly rate multiplied by 130%. So take note that the rest day rate is equal to regular hourly rate times 130% and the overtime rate is equal to rest day rate times 130%. So, we have this example number two. Yuri is a government worker. He works regularly from Monday to Friday. However, on Saturday, he worked from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, how much should be his total pay for this day if his daily rate is 900 pesos? So, take note that it was mentioned that he works regularly from Monday to Friday. So, it means that the Saturday is considered as his rest day. So, in this condition, we... Okay, he actually worked for 14 hours. I mean, he is in the office for 14 hours. However, if we will chunk in or, okay, subdivide this, we will have 8 hours as regular working hours. So, by the way, there is a rest day of 1 hour. And, of course, the overtime is only 5 hours. So, take note that, okay, if we mention here from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., meaning to say there is a rest day hour here or rest time okay having said with that we can say that the daily rate is equal to 900 pesos and the hourly rate is the daily rate divided by 8 so meaning to say per hour is 112.50 and the rest day rate is equal to 112.50 times 130 percent because that is the condition so this is equal to 146.25 per hour so, this is quite higher than your regular hourly rate of 112.50. Okay, to compute for the rest day rate, so meaning to say the first 8 hours, so that is 900 pesos as the reg regular daily rate times 130%. So, this is 1,170. However, there is an overtime. So, to compute for our overtime, so we have overtime rate is equal to 146.25 times 130%. Take note that the four, uh, 5 hours here is actually overtime of the overtime. So we have 146.25 times 130%. So this is 190.125. Later on, we will round it off to the nearest two decimal places. Then so overtime is equal to the number of hours times OT rate. So we have... 5 times 190.125, so this is equal to 950.63, rounded up to the nearest two decimal places. To summarize our payment, so we have 1,170 for the first 8 hours, okay? And we have 950.63, this is the overtime of the overtime, so the total is equal to 2,120.63. So therefore, the total wage that day was 2,120.63. So let's move on to the third type of overtime payment. So this is the rest day falling on a special day. So this is the type of holiday or overtime such as your rest day is actually on special day. So if an employee works on his rest day, which falls on a special day, the rate will be regular hourly rate multiply by 150 percent so the rest day falling on special day rate is equal to regular hourly rate times 150 percent on the other hand overtime rate is equal to rest day falling on special day rate times 130 percent so let's have this problem so michelle is a nurse she works regularly from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. However, on February 9, that is Mandaluyong Day, that is considered a special day. So she worked from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., which coincided with her rest day. How much should be her total pay for that day if her daily rate is 1,200 pesos? So, let's take note, guys, from 8 a.m. to 12, uh, I mean, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., there are actually 12 hours. But if we will divide this one, so the first eight is actually the, her regular working hours. On the other hand, there is a rest day of one hour. 
and there's an overtime of 3 hours. So if you will add 8 plus 1 plus 3, that is actually 12 hours. Okay, however, we will only pay for the first 8 regular working hours and 3 hours as overtime. So the daily rate is 1,200. So the hourly rate is equal to 1,200 divided by 8. So this is equal to 150 pesos per hour. And the uh, rest day polling special day rate, that is 150. That's 150%. So this is equal to 225 pesos per hour. Moving on. So the rest day polling special day rate, so that is 1,200. So that is the first eight hours times 150%. So this is equal to 1,800. However, if you would like to compute for the overtime rate, so this is 225 times 130%, so that is 292.50 per hour. However, the overtime, okay, she works for 3 hours of overtime, so we have 3 times 292.50, so the total is 877.50. To summarize our payments, so we have 1,800 for the first 8 hours and there is an overtime of 877.50. The total is 2,677.50. So therefore, the total wage that day was 2,677.50 pesos. Let's move on to the fourth type of overtime payment which is what we call regular holiday. Most common employees are looking for this overtime payment because they term this one as double pay. True enough, if an employee works on a holiday, the rate will be regular hourly rate multiplied by 200%. So it means that the regular holiday rate is equal to regular hourly rate times 200%. And the overtime rate is equal to regular uh, holiday rate times 130%. Let us consider this example for overtime payment for regular holiday. So textbook editor is required to work 8 hours a day. His daily wage is 1,600 pesos. If he worked on Philippine Independence Day for 10 hours, how much was his total pay for that day? Take note that the Philippine Independence Day is actually a regular holiday. It is celebrated throughout the entire country. Moving on. So, it was mentioned he works for 10 hours. So, it means that he, do, he doesn't have the rest time. So, the first 8 hours is considered as the regular working hours, while the 2 hours is considered as the overtime. Solving it further, so we have the daily rate is equal to 1,600 pesos, or the hourly rate is equal to 200 pesos per hour because 1,600 divided by 8 is equal to 200. And the regular holiday rate, that is 200 times 200%, so this is equal to 400 pesos per hour. True enough that you can claim that is actually a double pay. So if we will observe from 200 pesos per hour, it will become now 400 pesos per hour. So here, so the regular holiday rate that is 1,600 times 200 percent so this is equal now to 3,200 next so the overtime rate is equal to 400 times 130 percent so this is equal to 520 pesos per hour however there's an overtime payment that is overtime in terms of hours times OT hour or OT rate so the total payment for the overtime that is 2 times 520 is equal to 1040. So if we will summarize the payment, so for the first 8 hours, that is the regular working hours, that is 3200, while the overtime is equal to 1040 pesos. So the total is equal to, okay, how much? So this is 4240. Okay, so therefore, so the total wage is 4,240 pesos. So let's move on to the fifth type of overtime payment. So that is the rest day falling on the regular holiday. 
So if an employee works on his rest day, which falls on a regular holiday, the rate will be hourly rate multiplied by 260%. So such that the rest day falling on regular holiday rate is equal to regular hourly rate times 260%. On the other hand, the overtime rate is equal to rest day falling on regular holiday rate times 130%. So let us consider this problem. So Greg is a security guard and worked from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. on New Year's Day, which was also his rest day. Compute for his total pay for that day, his daily rate is 600 pesos. Take note that New Year's Day is considered as regular holiday so he works for 16 hours by the way then we will chunk this one so we have actually eight hours as the regular working hours there is one hour rest time so meaning to say we will not pay that and the other one is the overtime for seven hours so take note that the daily rate is 600 pesos while the hourly rate is daily rate divided by eight so it means that the hourly rate is 75 pesos per hour but if we will consider the rest day falling on regular holiday rate, so that is 75 pesos times 260%. So this is considered as 195 pesos per hour. Moving on, so the rest day falling on regular holiday rate, so that is 600 pesos for the paid first 8 hours times 260%. So this is equal to 1,560. However, the overtime rate is actually 195 pesos per hour times 130%. So this is equal to 253.50 or 50 cents. So to compute for the overtime payment, since he has 7 hours, okay, times 253.50, so that is equal to 1,774.50 cents. To summarize the payment, so for the first 8 hours is 1560 while the overtime payment is equal to 1774.50 so therefore the total is equal to 3334.50 so again the total wage that day was 3334.50 so that ends our discussion on overtime payment again this is teacher Oni de Guzman do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.